alphabetic letter M seems to be the lucky letter as Murkomen, Mvuria, Muturi, Mutua and Miano made their return to the cabinet. But as Stephen Leto reports, M seems to stand for many factors in President Ruto's consideration in picking the five nominees. Onesmas Kipchumba Murukamen was the undisputed poster boy of the grievances of the thousands of protesters angered for what they termed as public display of opulence. From watches to shoes and belts, Murukamen is a self-confessed consumer of expensive tests with a belt that will cost the equivalent of a salary and a watch valued at what will pass for someone's retirement benefits. The most expensive watch you have? That, that, uh, which I bought with my own money? Yes. Well, it was almost like, um, I think if I remember well, because it's time now, it's about 900,000 or something. Murkomen was the perfect bullseye of the Gen Z outrage. The former Transport Cabinet Secretary was also known for his outspoken ways. He was loud and rarely resisted the opportunity to argue, and that outraged protesters. When the Cabinet was dissolved, some celebrated the specific presumptive fall of Kipchumba Murkomen, but the celebration might well have been premature after he made onto the cabinet list. Ruto reinstated his man, a close ally, and an apologetic sidekick. Ironically, Murkomenu's name enraged the youth is headed to the youth ministry, if cleared by parliament. Alfred Mutua passed for a lucky return. When he went missing in the first list, all signs pointed at trouble for Mutua whose docket was seen as a potential giveaway under the Ruto undefined broad-based political arrangement. We shall not participate in or support the proposed Kenya Kwanzaa-led broad-based government of national unity because this is a betrayal of the Kenyan people Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka's hardline stance on joining government could well have saved Alfred Mutua. The former CS for tourism could well get his third bite of the cabinet cherry as he was named nominee for CS Labour. Previously, Mutua held the foreign affairs docket before being unceremoniously switched to the tourism docket under unclear circumstances. Then comes Justin Bidan Muturi, the holder of the proverbial nine lives of a Qatar word. Muturi is literally back from the ashes having held the attorney general's office which he sunk with the dissolution of cabinet in a move that defied constitutional provisions on the removal of the attorney general. If cleared by parliament, Muturi returns to cabinet to take charge of the public service docket previously held by outspoken Moses Kuria. Muturi was initially to be succeeded by Rebecca Miano as attorney general but the nomination of the former CS for trade has been something of a Bouncing ball as Ruto, for the second time in six days, nominated Miano to the friend docket. The soft spoken Miano has now been nominated for CS Tourism in nominations that went quiet on AG docket. For Salim Vuria, unquestionable loyalty seems to pay dividends as the former Blue Economy and Mining CS makes a return to the cabinet for nominee on trade and investment. He is Ruto's dedicated man, having acquitted himself by standing with Ruto through the political equivalent of thick and thin. Vuria is regarded as Hassan Jaw's coastal political counterweight and is well regarded within the Kenya Kwanzaa circles for delivering the quota of support that mattered. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.